A tour of the solar system, the inner planets. Some basic information. There are four inner planets known as terrestrial planets. In order from the Sun, we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They have a solid surface with mountains, volcanoes, craters, and canyons, and a liquid core. They have a little to no atmosphere, and they have little to no planetary satellites or moons. Let's start off with Mercury. Mercury is the smallest, with a diameter of 4,879 kilometers. It is the close to the Sun, with an astronomical unit of 0.4, and it takes 88 days to orbit the Sun. There's no planetary satellites. It's the second hottest planet due to no atmosphere. It's the second densest planet, and it takes 176 days to make one rotation. Moving on, next stop is Venus. Venus is similar in size to Earth, with a diameter of about 12,000 kilometers. It's the second closest to the Sun with a 0.73 astronomical unit distance and it takes 225 days to orbit the Sun. There's no planetary satellites. It's the hottest planet due to its dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide. It rotates in the opposite direction, which we call retrograde rotation, and it takes 243 days to make one rotation. Moving on, Earth. Earth is the largest of the terrestrial planets, with a diameter of over 12,000 kilometers. It's the third from the Sun, with a distance of one astronomical unit, and it takes 365 days to orbit the Sun. There's one planetary satellite, which we call the Moon. 70% is covered in water. It's the densest planet, and it takes 24 hours to make one rotation. Moving on, last stop, it's Mars. Mars is the second smallest planet with a diameter of just under 7,000 kilometers. It's the fourth from the Sun with a distance of 1.38 astronomical units and it takes 687 days to orbit the Sun. It has two planetary satellites called Phobos and Deimos. It has the tallest mountain in the solar system. There are signs of liquid and frozen water and it takes 24.6 hours to make one rotation. We're learning more information about the inner planets every day with our rovers and satellites, and one day we might just visit one. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.